we're back. Welcome back. Break was a little longer, a little later to start and a little longer than I planned. I think what we'll end up doing is we'll probably play about two more hours. Stream may end a little earlier than the schedule says. My mother's here visiting. We're going to get something going on for dinner. And so we might go two more hours from now and, and wrap about there, which would be a little early. That gives us another couple hours. Let's turn in. We're Diablin. And after we go visit Triss, what do you say we come back for? Here comes the groom. It's pretty messed up. Nobody gets married without strings attached in this land. So, we sailed around the coast. Where did we end up? Ways. We entered the cave underwater over here by the boat. And we came out the other side and ended up fighting over here, which is where we first arrived at Skellige. Mass Effect ended a little late. So I guess you have every right to wrap up a little early. We could, uh, we could do the math that way. Do the math that way. Anybody got guesses on uh, how long we'll spend with Hellblade? I know the average seems to be around 12 hours, 10, 12 hours is why I, I pegged it at two streams. If we need more than that, it's fine, but I'm thinking we'll play Hellblade uh, tomorrow and Saturday. We'll start a little early on Saturday. I really haven't given enough thought to uh, tweaking the schedule while my mother is here. It'd be nice if I adjusted things just so we could spend some more quality time together. Although part of what she's doing here is checking out a, um, a house that's for sale. On the off chance that she might move out here. She has retired. I've been easing her and nudging her about possibly moving out this way for, for some while. If I can pull it off. Head over to the crossroads. That was fun. I like boxing. I like boxing drowners. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I grew up on the East Coast. But the East Coast really works me over. I get bent out of shape. I get very salty very quickly. I'm back there. I don't think it affects my mother the same way. But for my part, I don't think I'd have a relaxed, comfortable anything anymore on the East Coast. Maybe parts of it. I I'm generalizing way too much. There's a lot of East Coast. But... There's something I like about being here landlocked and... I like the ocean. There's something I like about being landlocked here. Where the heck am I going? The mountains. The very least humbling. Just a couple follows during the break. Joey Manic, Gabriel Silva, just now. Chris Zuki. Or Chris the Zuki. Names are tricky sometimes. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the follows. this road's intact we could ride i came here to the travel post but we could just ride back up to care trolled we've got a road any particular reason you get salty there um i've all I, I always say it's the people i'm not i'm not sure how accurate that is I mean, I'm, I'm from the East Coast. I, I lived in Manhattan until I was 12, and I didn't move to Colorado till I was almost 20. Now I have been here half my life. 
but I mean, it's, it's, it's certainly not as if the people I met in Maryland behaved, made me feel like the people I, I met in New York. So young Come lived on. in New York, though. You know, I don't want to pretend, Max, that what I'm what, what I'm offering here as an answer is is really getting to the heart of it. it. Might have more to do with cities. I'm here in Colorado. I could not live in Denver. I couldn't even. I don't think I could even be sane living in Boulder. Even though I grew up in Manhattan, I used to be desensitized to everything: the sounds, all night, smells, people, whatever. Just whoo, let it wash all over. I don't think I could live in a city anymore. Maybe it's maybe it's more that concentrations of cities along the coast give me that feeling like everything's too too dense, too packed. And it's happening everywhere. The the cities along the front range here in Colorado, besides Denver and Boulder, they're all kind of growing together. Longmont and Loveland and Fort Collins and everything's growing out. It's all getting pretty dense. They're great to visit, even now. I, I, I love the idea of engaging all of that. I just can't immerse myself in it and stay there without going crazy. But I, I still like New York. I just couldn't live there. I could not. I, it's, may, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I could live there. Maybe I'd readapt. Chopper! Denver Parker. Evalore, thank you for the follow. Might have mangled that. Sometimes I can think of three things to do with your names. Over ten. Job Please, if done. anyone's ever out there Here's and the I mangle proof. your name, now, I hope you'll see... set me straight. What the devil is that? Water hag, an old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Blobfish well are cool. Witcher. Well earned. Yeah, I'm not trying to bicker over money here, thanks. Thanks. So long. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sails. Yeah, even even nice cities, so-called nice cities, can be overwhelming, and even overwhelming cities can be pretty damn cool. Right? New York is a hell of a place. Uh, secondary. I'm gonna go check in with Triss. Even if we come back for, uh, here comes the groom. Matter of life and death. We've out-leveled it. We won't get any XP for it. Doesn't matter. We get to meet up with Triss. Of all the so-called witches they hunted, there was none the witch hunters wanted more than Triss Miracle, a sorceress of unequaled power. Even in hiding, she had proven a thorn in their side, masterminding an underground net of hideouts and covers, keeping other mages out of the hunter's blood-stained hands. When Geralt entered the city, he met up with his dear friend, at some time love, and when the time came that she needed his help with her endeavor, she did not hesitate to ask. Okay, time to jump back. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly. An oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. When was this, Max? 
at your trip to New York or DC or your trip to the States when you get to see some of these places. Years ago. I've always considered myself for a number of related reasons, but uh, overall fortunate to have grown up in Manhattan. Even if I don't feel like I could live there anymore, I don't want that to be a rejection of it. I, I think I've been it benefited greatly from it. In some ways desensitized to a lot of things, which you just could you? Until you're exposed to things, you just you just don't know. How you'll react. Might could, should, would. How can I be of service? She just I'm exposed to so much living in a big city that uh, one way or another you're gonna you're gonna be desensitized to Got some things. coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You that can be useful. Right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. It's not a universal good, but useful. Top-notch swords. This guy sells armor. <clears throat> Show me what you have in stock. He has swords, because I've sold him all this stuff. He sells armor. Journeyman armor. A little confused at times. Van Ard Breastplate. Hey. Might want to wear those. The goldenrod boots, right? Might even use that. Playing around with Igni more, more than I ever did in the past, so... Fire damage from day start, an 8% chance to cause burning, and three slots. Let's say we dropped, that may not be a high damage sword, but as an example, that might have a nice burn dot. And if we increase the chance to trigger that with some good runes, if we had like a 20 plus percent chance to trigger fire, we could use a lower damage weapon like that to apply a dot to some enemies that were way above our, our level. Probably better for silver and monsters, but still cool. The Cavaro blade. Burning. Poison. Bleeding. Then drop some of these others back in the stash next time we're there. Burning. My trophies, huh? I don't know. Those are my trophies. I don't. I don't really want to sell them. I'll put them in the stash and never look at them again. But I don't really want to sell them. We could start selling parts of our stacks. We're finally getting large enough stacks of some crafting materials that we could safely sell some as long as we keep 10, 15, if whatever. We can also sell those later. We get beaten and robbed by a guard because I can't help myself and I pick a fight. So They'll long. take our coin, but they won't take our alchemy ingredients. We could always sell them later to get back on our feet. Oh, I like rain. Keeps the rogues indoors. Aruma, Master, Master L. Thank you for the follows. The fire breather is performing in the rain. That's, um,. He's dedicated. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't doing that increase the odds of the fuel or some of the fuel washing down a flame onto you? Right again. That made 
Jeez, that's dangerous. Watch yourself, guy. Manco NC, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Why is everybody screaming? What's up? You coming at me? Oh, he's coming at me. Oh, he's coming at me hard. Damn. Fine, fine, fine. What did I ever do to you? Next! Thank you, Entrobot. Thank you. Someone's got my back. Damn, where, where does that drop us? <laughs> he earned it. He earned it. That was fair. Is this is after we sold stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like rain. Keeps the rogues indoors. Fire breather went home. Are you going to do that again? You are, aren't you? Of course you are. Damon! Pretty good for a uh, demon. Pretty good looking for a demon. Not a demon. Demon. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. I'm Don't neither. Worry. I'm a mutant. Stay long. Bitch, you're coming through. Stairs. Girl, I've got a problem. Can we talk? I came here to talk. We have to talk about problems. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Because you had your fingernails ripped off the last time I saw you? When you slit Menga's throat, and then you were fierce. Never seen that side of you. 
What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. But you kept the rose. See, See there's speed the demons of remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it. Partly. Though more is a warning. Wombat. Don't you don't you put that three up against Yen's ten? If 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 we're measuring bitch. Give uh, Triss a gold star for manipulation, but a whole different ballgame. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you thinking? What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other. Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. A matter of life and death. Can we call someone in your mega scoop? Just for fun. Eat the Vagelbud's servant at the fish market. He's wearing a blue shirt and has keys hanging from his belt. Geralt! Okay, Triss. Okay. Be good now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You 
god. Fucking <laughs> horse hunts. Literally. The guy in the back, I think his drum is broken. This is the one thing this song doesn't have. To throw a bomb at the band. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. That's it? <laughs> Not the bomb. <laughs> they're all good. They're just, they're, they're getting back at it. <laughs> they're not playing anymore, though. She doesn't care. She's dancing anyways. Looks like rain. Yes, Geralt, it surely <laughs> looks like rain. Ollie, move low. Didn't look like rain. We may have scared off our quarry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is. Not seen a lot of blue tunics anymore. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Where will I get the best price on trout? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. If you want to live. This way. It's not far. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just... <coughs> just looking for... I was just looking for my torch. That's all. That's all I wanted. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let's, uh. You asked for it. He whirled right into a machine this sword. What do they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. <laughs> well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would you come alone, miss? If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. 
You're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagelbud... Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Bagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weak. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every mage revealed to him, Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear, once the Witch Hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's uh, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I. We're not managed without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. You're still not used to your Geralt's haircut. It's, uh, it's the default. Yeah, I've never gotten a haircut ever except for when they shave you in the game but I mean no, nothing I'm sure I've ever been to a barber in the game yay or nay got short hair and a goatee on mine Gerald scared with a goatee it's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. We had so no many desserts that the first time we played it, it crushed my video card. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Now, eternal not, fire! Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to and the Christmas. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what can prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Now. You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy You're gonna make masks. me wear a doublet again? I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? I know it. Been there before. Ellie a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. A big ask for shirtless Geralt.
doublet or bust. Hey, we got some nice light here in the rain. Oh, we got the good light and a rain. Not quite sideways rain, but we got a, we got a decent little rainstorm. This is the witching hour. I can tell. What do you think? Seven o'clock. It's six fifty-five. Who's a witcher? Hmm. Cloney, thank you for the follow. And Dube, a bit earlier. Welcome aboard. Anyone I may have missed. Damn mages. It's something ridiculous to wear. Piss her off. You mean skin and scars is not ridiculous enough? light gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Tom like, yeah. Wouldn't say better, just, uh... And we can't force the light in our lives to be just what we want, but in a game we can. It just usually doesn't feel quite right. Sometimes it does. It's haunting. It's it's mesmerizing. And this is like the weakest version of it, and it's still just. Mm. Can't let my jacket get wet again. I'll get lashed. Good thing I'm out of bombs, because I just tried to throw one. Yeah. Okay, time for a Tucson 24 hour looking at the sunset stream. Prepare your coffee. and wolf <laughs> and that thing I want to look like a toucan and they all can I look like a toucan greetings come to look over my spring collection perhaps to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Did you catch his dialogue? Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Elegant mask for a masquerade ball. The bird mask. The harlequin mask. I need a fox mask. Yeah, there's... Well, let's get them all. God, she said we have to wear the doublet. Why do we have to wear the doublet? Dress elegant Porter's doublet. Skellige shirt. She said doublet. You 
don't have the doublet in your stash already? I might. Is she gonna complain about shoes? Pants? I really have to wear pants? <laughs> Festive slippers? Shirt on shirtless girl, tis blasphemy! So long. In boxers. Do I really have to wear pants? Question we've all asked ourselves at some point. Gotta hope so. Geralt, you make a lovely toucan. Boxers and our famous white shirt. Shall we? I mean, why? Uh, He says we've got to wear a shirt. I don't know if I'm willing to wear the doublet. I, we could compromise on the white shirt. But if we do that, it, it might just be required that the pants come off. I think you're onto something. May the eternal burn your sins. Eternal fire! Thank you. I'm not in the market. Just down. Oh, always got it up, El. He could remake his pants into a doublet to please her, then go pantsless. the doublet. I don't even mind uh, I'm gonna wear pants. I don't even mind that. It's that that shirt is extra comfy, huh? We get the slippers too. Not bad. I mean, you know, it's not totally inappropriate. Chris is going to be pissed if you don't wear the elegant pants. Yes. How pissed is the question that I don't remember the answer to. No. It's weird, girl. Triss's fox mask. Can I wear it? No. Not allowed. I'm gonna wear the silver pantaloons. Those things, the silver, I was, they caught my eye too. I don't think I've ever looked at them. Can we wear those? Try 
mud, it all over his floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. High time. The Texan and K Tag, thank you for the follows. Welcome. Just wear the doublet. I bet y'all drinking that wine too, aren't you? You're smoking Trash. them tweeds and everything. Wearing the old clothes all half off your ass. What the hell's going on today? How's it going, Crash? This is Witcher game, best game! Thank you! Wow, thank you. <laughs> most kind. Most kind, most generous. Thank you, Wombat. Thank you so much. I like your bits. There's something wrong with that kappa? Be missing an eye? Would they do something to that kappa? What happened to that kappa? Even if we're hanging around with Triss. Well, thank you for that. Oh, he's winking. Oh, my. They look scarred. Certainly took my request to heart. <laughs> mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Wait, who looks great? Because it's not Geralt. Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, <laughs> I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey, and that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Damn, doublets chafing my armpits, and it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. You better. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Simply required. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Well, Geralt! Of course, but I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Damn, they lock out your inventory. That's so mean. They know everybody would change as soon as they got in here, huh? I would. How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Come now, don't, don't do that cry. again. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Are you still here? It's gonna happen naturally. Crash, it's gonna happen naturally. No, he's pretending you don't know. Heck out the flowers. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? Oh, sorry, There's didn't see you there. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. 
You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Gonna be mad if we knock this guy cold. You asked for it. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. For thine honor. Your reputation precedes you, Geralt. Looking up. Lunatic chick. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Excuse me, guard. You have no idea how much of this. Gerald can handle. He's taking it all. Hard finding work here, you know, with the eternal fire burning and all that. Eternal fire! Well, that wasn't hardly the buffet. That was uh, people on the outskirts. They got to keep them fed too. Do you want to get slapped? What are you doing? Whoa! Two-headed horse! Oh, God! Oh, God! Beast with two backs! Ah! Oh, no! Oh! It's unholy! See? He scared her off! Oh, my God! Ah! <laughs> Which your Fallout edition? Horse can't make up its mind. Woo! That's creepy. <laughs> oh, come back for more. Man, we can't ride this, can we? No. We shall name it Clippy. How could he? With that scrawny harlot. Come now, don't cry. <laughs> when I catch him in this calamity, what then, eh? What then? Your mangy snout, that's what. Please leave me be, sir. Be actually chasing her around. Unhand me, sir. I could be your daughter. A rogue. I read one look as I read it. I must steal a kiss, milady. You shall see. Just stand still and remove your mask. You're drunk, sir. I shall tell your wife. Do to so my mind, they're first. getting their just desserts. I've never <laughs> been fond of sorceresses. Don't tell my date. Geralt, it's just one more step. You can do it. The party's just getting started and everyone here is already wasted. Getting old. 
<laughs> See what I mean? I'm a kraken! I'm a Kraken! Aside for now, do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. We gotta, we gotta try and give Triss a little room join here. Join you, and just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Triss, let it go. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. Mm -hmm. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. I'm a Kraken! Oh, let's look around. Oh, we hadn't even gotten to the party yet. It's gonna make me really hungry. Turn to Joel finally. Must have thought he'd get a second chance. <laughs> it's all yours, girl. Take it all. mother says the girl has a singular. What's everyone hungry for? If you ask me, she's that. Gavantri, thank you for the follow. Welcome. The quail baked in Have you tried the quail baked in cranberry? You know the jewelry is dropping in How dare you! How dare you! <laughs> you bumped into me, lady! Do it again, too. Nice fez. I think she's stashing food in her fez. Take home for later. Thank you, pardon. Desserts and whatnot. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Her like mask is great. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? 
We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Play some Gwent Let's at the party? Is there Gwent at this party? Are you thinking of um, a Hearts of Stone party? Ten o'clock. Uh, I'd be up for playing some. Playing some. Where, where is their Gwent here? Find Albert. He's wearing a panther mask. There is a Gwent too. We'll keep an eye out for it or... Are, are you Albert? Just checking. You must be Ames. The exclamation mark on the map. Go play some court. Thank you. I don't know if I have before or not. I certainly rejected Gwent the first time we were here. That I can be sure of. Why doesn't it mark? Mark my words, I'll kick they refused to play Gwent. It was west, southwest. That corner pocket. Marker's not showing, but... Over this way. Five blades. Gregor, oh, yeah. have you right seen Dargoth just Thank months you. ago? Oh. Apologies, Thank you for the I follow. mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. That is Voris. You recognize the voice? General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgov, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. I've heard ballads about you. And that sort of... Looking for me, sir. Looking for me, sir. No, whoever wants to play. How is business? Ah, got a challenger. Talking to Please join us. Sir Devonon just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? Let's play. First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. City swarming with rogues. I don't want to fuss too much over decks, uh, thinking about what we might be able to squeeze out of another deck. We don't have a Scoia'tael deck, don't have enough unit cards. Same thing for monsters. We did put together a Nilfgaard deck. It's not good, and I don't have much practice with it. Northern Realms, we have a pretty decent deck. We get a good draw, anyways. It could be a lot worse. See what comes out. Although we're playing Nilfgaard, got our own spy to start with. Blue stripes, Zoltan, Siegfried, and Kira. Hmm. Hey, there's Brooch. At least uh, Trebuchet. Yes, a bear. We 
might end up with more blue stripes. Hi, Ziggy. Got a medic. Zoltan, wait this one out. Cavalry Rider. This in. We haven't had that. When did we get this in? Another stream, but I don't remember where it came from. Extra. We get a frost card and... We don't have a decoy. I can't snag his spy. That's a bummer. What, did, what, did we, what else did we just get? We had a trebuchet and a ballista. We got a different trebuchet. I don't think I ever ran into Vorhis there before. So. It was a nice surprise. You got that scorch out of the way. He scorched his own spy. This might be a little premature to use the medic, but it's tempting. With the medic, I can pull the spy, play the spy against him, and do it. Now we got a scorch use it. He passed. Alright, let's take this round. He gave us an easy first round. <clears throat> let's take it. He, who are we playing? He, she? No, we're... we're I, it's her name. What's said? It's not, the, it's not the guy who set us up. We're playing someone else. Save the blue stripes. I'm gonna save the scorch. Wanna save the frost or play the frost? Um, I have a little bit more melee. We're probably gonna try to win the second round. One way to take it. Play frost. There's our blue stripes. Close combat scorch. If I had had anything in the melee row, it would have scorched it. Or only if the total was 10 or higher. Could have had a, a 4, a 4, and a 5, and the 5 would have gone. Something like that. There is a standalone version of it now, Tomalak. Gwent has been turned into a standalone game. Physical game, there are there are Gwent cards. But I don't think there's enough. Uh, th there isn't really a... It's not like a physical version of Magic yet. You can't go out and buy a whole bunch of decks, Gwent cards. But there are some packs you can buy. That's interesting, Max. Shame he's using Nilfgaard and you're not. Otherwise, you can force your opponent to waste a card by passing straight away on round two. <laughs> I haven't thought of that. I'll scorch your scourge! Message coming in. Patch it through. Middle Age Stream! Jimmy in the house. Thank you for the host. If you're out there, man.
There he is. In the flesh. Jimmy in the flesh. You good, sir. gets to look at three random cards out of my four. He now knows what I'm holding. For what good that'll do him. Cool looking stack. Or it was. Still is. Look at, look at this symmetry right there. Bye. To play or pass, that is the question. We could actually get roasted here. It really depends on what he what he drew there. They can't touch these cards if we play them. We'll have 73. What's he gonna pull out? Do you have some surprises? We're all in. Show me. We're gonna hit 73. If he has a commander's horn and he doubles his siege row, he wins. It better not be a commander's horn. Well, it is what it is. Play it. Thought, ah, it's a good thing my math sucks. He's got a spot. Fuck you, Nilfgaard! Look at what Nilfgaard can do with with two cards left. Is that just there's a whole range of emotions you just put me through. Damn you, Nilfgaard! Face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it. Decoy, good. Torch, sure. Boy, this looks familiar. Almost, except for the decoy and the scorch, it's practically the same draw. Get a fur. And a biting frost. This is why I never try to force a two round win, it never works against Nilfgaard. It's an interesting, interesting point to consider. Never works against Nilfgaard. if you both have no cards left, so it's better to concede a round so you have one or two additional cards in round three. Yeah, and I might even have done that. Why is Young Emissary wearing Geralt's doublet? I've been trying to pawn it all night. Mm. He 
like a waste of the frost card to use it now. And that's the decoy. I want to keep points for later. Uh, yeah. Please take this deep part to squish. It's like the frost, it seems like a waste of this, but oh man, I'm feeling salty. You may be covered in frost, but we'll burn you. Saving his spies. You know he's got spies. He will have spies. I'm going to be really stubborn. I wouldn't normally push ahead in the first round, but I don't feel like I have a lot of good options. He's now taking a peek. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna pass now. My play. Wish I could see his cards right now. I guess I can't make up my mind because I'm playing halfway in and halfway out of this round. He's gonna take it. Could have had two cards in my siege round for Foltest to to act like a commander's horn on, and I basically sacrificed one of those. Is it possible he doesn't have a spy in there? It's possible. Yennefer can get that siege card back if I want it. That's peculiar. That's peculiar. <sighs> that commander's horn is useless. I can't play it in my hero cards, and I didn't use my leader's uh, leader card yet, which behaves the same way on a siege line. It's like I have two commander's horns now. Cards on the table. Clear weather. He's done. <laughs> he wouldn't play clear weather if he had anything. Touch this. Mm. Play the horn before the ballista in case he has a scorch left. That's a good call too. Play a horn on an empty empty row. That's a good tip. I will hold on to that one. I'm trying. Your next opponent, Count, Count Gomo Sile. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. Squanto. Action perk. Go first. Two decoys. We'll probably swap one of those. Yennefer and Roach. It's a good siege. Keep them both, but swap one. Scorch. Good. Siggy, go. Medic.
Walker's horn right off the bat. They're serious about this first round. I'm Honka. Thank you for the follow. Okay. We can't decoy that spy because it's a hero card, old card. They got extra cards out of that. I think they've got a good deck. Uh, decoy Vesemir here. Squaytail doesn't have regular spies, to my knowledge. Yeah. Something back. Instead of going in, pull something back. <clears throat> Not gonna have anything else good to decoy. So I think your point, right? <laughs> yeah, I could have swapped maybe both decoys then. I was thinking about Squayotel not having standard spies. I don't... I didn't know that, but... Who's back? If I had waited with that Scorch, we could have gotten both of these, assuming they played that card, too. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Well, we're out. It's your round. Played some heavy cards. I, maybe they saved their junk. I waste another card. I wouldn't... Yeah, that wasn't a waste. That was a well-used final card. Boy, a good point card. Gwent does have... Damn, Siri. Gwent does have difficulty settings. It is set to hard now, but... How much of a difference that makes. We'll see. It's, I, I just got to play through it, Max. Win or, win or lose, you know. Opponent passed. Not bad there. Save a medic. We will have a medic. Last round. <laughs> the medic is the lowest point card I could play now. We're going to have to play Vesemir, though. Kid 3, what's up? there. An additional card, siege card. So let's, um, Roach goes on the board, final, final rounds. But I'll put out Foltis before I put out siege cards to try and tease out an extra card of theirs. Just play two medics. A medic to pull a medic, but when they pull... How does, how does that work? They do that. Why would you pull a medic out of your trash with a medic? The second medic can't function as a medic. Why would you pull a zero-point medic? They screwed up, right? That doesn't make any sense. Well, if nothing else, that was a good, that was a good uh, tip. Playing a horn before cards. These grosses is. Play a lower point before the higher point ones. Oh shit. 
Rain on my parade, literally. Go oh, snap. I'm using the Siege Master Foltest instead of uh, Sunny Day Foltest. Final cards on the table. Woo! Hey, Goodwin. What's up? It's Witcher Day. This is woo. One that was round. too close. When the cards come, your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zuckelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it. Anything we want to add to the deck, right? Monsters. At least they mix it up on ya. Oh, that's pretty rough. Good to see Yen, but... Ooh. Monsters, huh? We could do some nice damage to monsters with a well-used Scorch. Extra. I don't know if I want to swap a card or uh, swap a decoy or a point card. Still in the same mission. Uh, yeah, because we got sidetracked playing Gwent. Well, that's correct. We're still in the same mission. We'd have progressed in the mission if we didn't play Gwent. In fact, we got to progress in the mission pretty soon because I got to cut loose in about an hour here since my mom's here for one week. I got, I got one week to spend with her. We're keeping our stream schedule for the most part, but there'll be a few adjustments. I was going to cut loose a little early, but I don't want to end the party. We got to get through the Gwent. There's Broach. Blue Stripes and Sheila de Tancerville. That was interesting. Um, his Aridin doubles the strength. It's a it's a commander's horn for melee. Point siege this ballista. Planning to pull it back later. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Ice giant. Played a tiny bit. Timer, uh, the standalone in beta. I played a tiny bit. I haven't played it since the beginning of beta, though. Message coming in. Patching it through. Banzai! Holy shit. Banzai, baby. Banzai, baby. It's now hosting you for 251 viewers. Is that... Is that, is that shit right? I think it is. It looks like it. Duckling, what's up? Level up lady. Jelly dance! Oh my god! Bonsai baby, thank you. Thank thank you for the awesome raid there. Thank you for the host. Oh my god. 
Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I'm Jay. We're playing some Witcher today. No, we're playing some Gwent. We're supposed to be enjoying a nice quiet party with Triss. We're supposed to be getting a mage friend of hers out of town. And then we got sidetracked playing some Gwent. Bonsai! Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Bonsai Baby, for the host. Thank you for bringing your friends. That Miss Gamer. Dragonfly True. Heck yeah. Blame Casino Duckling for the raid. It's all his fault. I blame you for the raid. I blame you, Duckling. Alfunct, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Um, <laughs> did you really get here to see me get my ass handed to me by a monster deck? We're, play we're playing Gwent at... Uh, at the Vengelbutt party. We're still in the first round. We've got Siege Master Foltest, and I played a, uh, a Siege card. I would have saved that. Didn't know what else to do. Bonsai baby, thank you for the follow. Little lit Mike, welcome aboard. So these will be eight. I could still play my Scorch this round if he does something, uh, depending on what he does. We can Scorch the heck out of him. Uh, those aren't gonna. Mm, damn. It would be nice to take those eights, and we can't take those eights. We can only take his 12. You know, he was setting that up so nicely. I decoy back one of the blue stripes, and then I pull out uh, the other one with the medic and get them back. Let's pass this round. If they waste another card. They did! What the hell was that for? Shady Games! Welcome! Level up, lady. Love Gwent. Love it! I love it now. I hated it when I first played it for a very long time. Gwent and I, we didn't see eye to eye for 200 plus hours. What are they up to? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? What's the deal? Why did they just hand me this round? I learned to love it. Some things you have to learn to love. Stennis. Prince Stennis. He plow and wears golden armor. Golden! Of course, he's an arsehole. Try this. He doesn't play something higher than a five. I'm gonna scorch. Oh, too late. I was gonna scorch Stennis and the Ice Giant. That would have been fun. And still scorch his fiend, but. Um... We don't want to do is play anything higher than that six that can be scorched. So we're ready. Bonsai didn't know it had a card game in it. Uh, this is really the first collectible style card game I've ever played. You know, I never played Magic, never played any, any other deck building card games I think it's time don't you hi ladies hi ladies <clears throat> oh 
Oh, she's siege. All right, let's um, play in first tier. Here is Stumbler Ong Sikorn. Sorry if I've mangled any names, but thank you for the follows. Welcome aboard. I'll get I was I was planning to bring out the blue stripes commando to play with the other one. They'll turn into eights. You have two eights. Yeah, if I play a six, it'll double into a twelve. Alright, let's let's stick to the plan. Let's play the blue stripes commando from the trash. The close combat scorch, and it doesn't function because you need to have at least ten. Here, let's look at that card for a second. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units. If the combined strength of all their close combat is 10 or more, he played that at the wrong time. He didn't have a choice. Now we're going to crush him. Oh, you're in trouble. Shady Games, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. How am I doing? I just saw your comment above very well. My, uh, <laughs> best... He doesn't even want to play his last card. Too embarrassing. All right, I've had my share of those moments. My uh, my mother is here to visit for a week. So we won't be streaming too much longer, but I would like to get through the party. So hopefully in the next 30, 40 minutes, we can get through the, the party here. And we're going to make some dinner. I'm having a great day. Very excited to have, uh, have family visiting. Doesn't happen often enough. Read it and weep! We had 99 points on him at the end. T. Lopez, how you doing today? Dandelion card, very nice. Time to invest in newbies. Drop a hard save for that goodness. Okay. What were we doing? We were looking for Albert Vengelbutt. He's wearing a panther mask. Not nearly as cool as my bird mask. Hey, Lopez. Glad to hear it. It's like a panther mask I to me. I out of the way in time, naturally, and it merely singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Uh. Yes. Nice mask. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Fickle, bud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. Come on, you can do oh better than that. My count. <laughs> Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. That's what I said. Oh, so you are. When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. <clears throat> Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this yeah, whole get Fortunately, you're not allowed to swap them out the after you get here. I saw a nice spot there earlier. Lead on. Lead on, Triss. They lock out your inventory at the party. So yeah, I, I do have the wolf mask. But we entered with the bird mask. It's a done deal. I still think we should have kept 
uh, kept the white shirt on. If we were going to be forced to wear a shirt, we could have at least worn something comfortable. This doublet's all itchy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hello, Triss. Hey, woo. Tap it in, man. Bots on the slow side there. This has popped up before. I missed it. Care to sit down for a spell? Of course I do. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? Garrow, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. <clears throat> seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. I don't want to hear about that, Triss. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> he must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Made of marble? <laughs> <clears throat> she Come got on, drunk Carol. fast, she was fine. This wait, Carol. a minute ago. Coming? Careful.
Miss Merigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. But you can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Hide and seek, here I come. <clears throat> CMC Albert, lane, Max plays. Thank you for the, the follows. Tree. Welcome aboard. Albert, there you are, my love. Here you are. So, about this private show. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh! oh uh, I'm sorry, I. Nice plague masks. Albert Vagelwood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm. Doubt it. animation. Where did all the blood come from? It was just a fist fight. Not like that, it looks like stale blood. Old blood. Hey, Marisha, how you doing? Enhanced vampire oil?
never ending fireworks. Wouldn't mind to see some of those. Is that the guy we saw earlier? We gonna take the two-headed horse. We are. Oh, I've begun to worry. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is fucked, dude. To clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden. Wink, yes. wink. Nudge, I nudge. And you must hurry. Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's... it's more than I expected. Stunning me more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault. I know the the wine. He sobered up fast to too. Head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Those aren't fireworks. The Reapers are landing. Quest completed. A matter of life and death. Now or never is a fantastic piece of... Geralt's relations with Triss. And we're gonna save that one for another time. I gotta say, Duckling, that was really something. You, you, you pulled off something really cool here. Bonsai Baby, thank you for dropping in. I missed uh, I missed the cheer there. Twitch love hype. Thank you for the bits. I like it, you bits. Bonsai Baby, that was awesome. Thank you for bringing all your friends in. And Casino Duckling, thank you for making that happen. Glad to have you all here. Sorry, we're kind of wrapping, uh, wrapping a bit early, but again, family first. I've got a wonderful extended family here in all of you, and my mother who has come from the East Coast to visit for a week is here right now. So I think we're gonna wrap. Who can we drop in on? Who's doing what right now? I had a very good time today, and I hope you did too. Always a good time with Geralt. Let's make sure we save here. Inside the Vagal Buds. Lance! What's up, Lance? Really good to see you, man gonna have to say a hello and goodbye there we're gonna be playing hellblade tomorrow and saturday we're gonna be playing thimbleweed park and then uncharted lost legacy next week we'll come back to Geralt for a couple days i don't know what we're gonna do after that karma and some good karma thank you for the follow welcome welcome aboard welcome everyone who's new here aboard the starship chaos and especially if you got here with bonsai i hope you'll all come back and join us for many more adventures S7, happy birthday to you for tomorrow. It's your birthday. I hope the uh, I hope the bombs tossed into the hapless minstrels tickled you in all the right places. Witcha, best unbirthday present, and a merry merry unbirthday to you. Let's. Uh, you think Nade's gonna be going for a little while? Playing layers of fear. Well, let's find out. Hey, Sonabanya, what's happening? Thank you all for being here today. The Entropic family, so awesome. Much love to all of you far and wide. I will catch you on the other side. 
Suli man, Mysterio, welcome all. Come one, come all, come back. Come back tomorrow. We won't be playing Witcher tomorrow, but we will be playing. I'll see you all then. I'll catch you again Saturday. Check out the schedule on Spec Me. You can follow the stream on Twitter as well for announcements. Archives are making their way up to YouTube a couple days after the fact. Crash, good night. Good night, everyone. I'll see you on the flip side. I'm going to post a link to the Nade Face. Many of you know the Nade Face already, but he's another excellent streamer here on Twitch and part of our extended Entropic family. I hope he's going for a little bit. Layers of fear. I'm probably going to stay blind on that for now, and I'll see you all another time. Good night.